Hey, and welcome to this video of what's in the box. And we're gonna be looking at the brand new Chaos Knight Army Box. Now this is still in the cellophane, so thank you so much Games Workshop for sending us this preview copy. So in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at what's inside, what you can expect, and hopefully some like cool conversion ideas, kit bashes, or maybe even some competitive loadouts for you. So I'm very excited to open this up. Um, it looks absolutely incredible, it's huge, and um, I can't tell you how difficult it's been not to open this even out of the cellophane and have a peek inside, but I wanted to save it to share this with you guys. Now, if you enjoy these What's in the Box videos, please comment below. Uh, let us know if you're gonna be picking up one of these boxes yourself once you've seen this video. So let's dive in and actually see what we get inside. So the ever important, it's the scalpel reveal. For me, this is the best bit. Just taking that cellophane off. Now, as you can see, a bit of a giveaway, but we've got a big knight. I'm expecting two little knights. And also, this could be a codex in data cards in here as well. So we'll find out in a moment. Okay, so let's take a look at these one by one. So we'll take a look inside, and the first sprue we come to is just the chassis of the actual armature itself, or the war glaive. So we've got a nice little bit of chaos detail here. Got the chains in like the chaos symbol sign, which looks, looks awesome. So we've got two of those, obviously, two armatures. Now, this is the one I'm interested in the most. This is gonna be new for us to have a look at. This is the weapon options here. So in the weapon options, we looks like we've got a thermal cannon, uh, which you know, you'll know you be familiar with before. Uh, we've also got then the Reaper chain glaive, again, similar to what you've seen. Um, and then we've got some cool, cool little spikes and add-ons. We've got different chaos faces, which look really cool. Um, different shoulder pads for you know a bit more chaosified. And then we've got this one, this one right here. This is the interesting one. It is basically a mini Reaper chain cannon looks phenomenal. Like the, the classic Avenger cannon that the big knights have. There's a really cool head here, looks like a crow's head. So this gun's gonna be really interesting. It'll be good to see what their profile is. Uh, so we've got, again, two of these sprues ready for um, you know both of your war glaives there. Now, what I would suggest you do is pick up just a regular box of war glaives, um, and then you can start to probably mix and match weapon options. I'll probably magnetize all of this so I can take either or, whether I want obviously the Reaper chain glaive and the thermal, or whether I want the Reaper and the auto, uh, like the sort of Reaper chain cannon there. Uh, either of those options, definitely gonna magnetize those, I think, so I've got lots of different options, and buy some different kits so I could run either or. So then we're on to the big night. Now obviously we've got the sort of Chaos Knight um, shoulder pads, all the little extra spikes and everything you would expect from that, um, all the little yeah, add-ons that you get. And this is pretty much a kit that you'll be familiar with anyway for the Chaos Knight kit. So again, slightly different uh, pads you would see compared to the Imperial one, but looks brilliant. So the next sprue we're gonna look at is I think unique to this kit. Um, now what we've got on here is straight away you can see all the tendrils here, look. Absolutely fantastic tendrils. Um, we've got crows, we've got different head options. Fantastic kit to mix and match with maybe Imperial Knight kits or obviously Chaos Knight kits as well. And then we've got, which looks a little bit like a plasma weapon, but this is actually a Volkite. Um, now this Volkite cannon, whatever the name's gonna be of it, um, is absolutely ginormous and a real blast from the past, I would say, uh, back to 30K where the Volkite weapons were much more popular. So these look awesome, these Volkites. You can see there from that camera, looks great. So onto the last weapon option here. Now again, I think this is a kit you're gonna be familiar with. We've got the Reaper chain glaive here, and then we've also got the classic decimator weapon. Um, which you'll be familiar with, and you've also got the fist as well, the classic fist. So you've got two different gun options, um, which is awesome. It's great to have that variety. Again, I'd get this sort of stuff magnetized. 
Um, two different you know, weapon options as well in terms of you know, combat, which is brilliant. And then we're gonna see what else is in the box. So lovely bit of artwork here. Looks like the Black Legion and the Chaos Knights versus the Ultramarines, looks great. And then, you've got your data cards. Again, in cellophane. And you've got your stratagems, you've got your core, you've got your psychic powers. Very, very cool. Good to see that um, we've got war gear stratagems, nice. Lots of war gear, strategic ploy stratagems, uh, requisition stratagems, epic deeds, like we come so come to expect from most of those. Um, and then probably, do we see anything else here? I think the psychic, oh, we've got some strategic ploys here for your different types of houses. That was it, this specific kind of stuff there, um, which is great. It's fantastic to see psychic powers now. Chaos getting that sort of psychic action. So uh, yeah, absolutely awesome. Finally, the last thing, the Codex. Look at it in all its glory. So the codex, we've also got what I think is the instructions there for the different types of weapon options. Um, yeah, we've got the tendrils. So it looks like the tendrils are actually a weapon. That looks cool. Yep. Yeah. And also what I should, didn't realize is we've got a claw inside this um, the war dog stalker. So you can make a war dog carnivore, which has got two combat weapons. You've got a war dog brigand with two gun options and then a war dog stalker with um, you know, one of the chain guns there and also the claws. So you've got lots of different weapon options there. It looks like you've got three different combat options. Uh, you've got the Knight Abominant. So this is the Knight Abominant with the Volkites and these tendrils, um, which is cool. Um, and I, th I wonder if we can make any other sort of options here. Oh, you can make one of the tendrils a tail. That's pretty cool and unique. Uh, love that. Um, that's awesome addition. Um, it's just these little things that you kind of notice after looking through, which is great. So I would have this entire box magnetized up, I think, to see what these guys can actually do on the tabletop, just to give you lots of different variations. Um, and then as you build up your collection, you could just add more and more of these to it, so you could run any sort of number of the stalkers, the walkers, or the bigger knights themselves. And then obviously, you'd get your transfers, transfer paper, you name it, um, and your bases as well comes inside the box. So onto the codex. Now we will be doing a full codex review of what's inside um, when it actually comes to the competitive 40K podcast. We'll also be doing a battle report for you to see what these guys can do in action. And then we'll be doing lots of different members content and all the deep dives, um, going through all the different types of houses, the psychic powers, all that kind of stuff. And myself and Michael, and Michael's an extremely um, passionate Chaos Knight player. So it's gonna be awesome to see what he can do with this army on the tabletop. Um, and we're doing some really good members based list as well. So again, I really hope you enjoy this one. I can't show any pages of the rules, sadly, but I am gonna give you a bit of a sort of look over some of the artwork, some of the really cool models that have been uh, previewed in this book and lots of different weapon options. So yeah, I've started to get to the rules now. So close that there. And uh, that is what you can expect in the box of this awesome, Kelt nice box set. So again, Games Workshop, thank you so much for sending us this copy. I'm extremely excited to get these built, magnetized up and get on the table. So if you have, let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please make sure you like and subscribe and consider becoming a member if you want to get more content. So thank you so much and we'll see you on the next video.